किसी को भी बुलाया गया कोई नहीं आया तो अंत में पौनवासी जी ने कहा राधा जी को बुलाया अच्छा तुम जाओ तो तुम पानी ले आओ तो कृष्ण बस तो राधा जी गई और पानी खड़ा एक बुंद भी नहीं गिरा और पानी को ले आकर के पौर्णमासी जी ने कृष्ण का अभिषेक कर दिया पानी से स्नान करा दिया और कृष्ण उठ करके खड़े हो गए और सब लोग कहने लगे जटिलार कुटिलार ये पति प्रता नहीं है ये राधा जी की पति प्रता है जी प्रकार से कृष्ण ने प्रमाण ये लीला खेलन पर में वहां से फिर राम घाट में गए और वहां के लीला के संबंध में It can be misunderstood. 
because most of the people are thinking, how can anybody but Krishna perform Ras Lila? Right? We would think that. Krishna is the ultimate supreme personality of Godhead, the ultimate enjoyer, the Vishaya. And everyone else is his servant. But Baladev, he is also Krishna's first expansion. And it's described in Chaitanya Charitamrita that Baladev is, for all intents and purposes, non different from Krishna. The only difference between Baladev and Krishna is that Krishna is black and Baladev is white. However, there's one other significant difference that within Baladev resides the mood of Seva to Krishna. And this mood of seva actually originates in Balaram. That's why he is a kind of guru tattva, the original principle of guru. Everyone's desire and capacity to render service comes through Baladev. So, Baladev did indeed engage in Rasleela with many Rajadevis at Rav God. What is the nature of Rasleela? Rasleela is a joyous activity. There can be singing, there can be dancing, there can be water sports, playing of instruments, very joyous, happy, harmonious occasion. And in this way, Baladev was engaging like that. Um, the question might arise, uh, how could he engage with Krishna's gopis, Baladev and Rasveen? Well, that's also answered. Srila Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur in his commentary explains that the gopis that Baladev engaged with were his own gopis. Earlier, at the time of Holi, when Krishna and Baladev had been engaging in Holi and water sports, there were gopis that Krishna was engaging, in, engaging with and gopis that Baladev was engaging with. And there was also another group of gopis who were very young at that time who had not had the opportunity to engage in Rajlila. And at that time, they had engaged, uh, they had glanced at Baladev with loving glances. But they had not yet had the opportunity to fulfill and to have their relationship with him realized. So it was primarily these gopis and some others that were engaged in, and the other gopis were witnesses as well. But there's another point, that even if all of the gopis had engaged, what is the nature of this pastime? And what is the nature of Baladev? Baladev is the pure, untainted servant of Krishna, as is everyone in Braj. Baladev's only motive, his only mood, is to serve Krishna, to bring happiness and pleasure to Krishna. So his only mood in Ras Lila was to give pleasure to Krishna by alleviating the pain of his devotees. And the same mood of these gopis and devotees is also to provide that same pleasure. No taint of material lust or impropriety exists in that place. Furthermore, it can also be said that whereas on this mundane plane, it may be that the activities of men and women in this way are lusty and improper, uh, but even in the heavenly planets, men and women are allowed to engage freely in dancing and singing, and there is no consideration of sin in Swarga and the heavenly planets. So what to speak of the plane of Goloka, of Goku, and there's no sin or impropriety. So, in this way, Baladev engaged for two months at Ramagad and uh, alleviated the pain of all the devotees there and brought great happiness and good memories of Krishna. It's also described in that place that while they were dancing, uh, the, uh, the trees were oozing for Rudy beverage. Varuna, his daughter for Rudy, uh, came in the form of a, an intoxicating liquid free beverage. And Baladev and all the Rajagadis were taking up this beverage and becoming spiritually intoxicated. And rolling his eyes and walking like a drunken elephant with great pleasure, he was calling out to the Jamuna, come, because they were tired, they wanted to bathe in their waters, to cool off and quench their thirst. But Jamuna was feeling, oh, a little uncertain because of the apparent intoxication of Baladev, and there was some confusion in her heart. And she did not come initially. And Baladev became very angry. And he said, oh, if you won't come to me, and he took his plow. He said, I will divide you into a hundred rivulets. And, uh, and he began to drag her forcibly with the plow. Immediately she came, begged forgiveness, and offered prayers. 
to propitiate or to please him. And then they bathed happily in the water. Now, why would Baladev threaten Jamuna? Because Jamuna is generally in Vrindavan considered to be none other than Vikshakadevi, correct? Yes. But there's another part of Jamuna that flows further, and that is the expansion of Kalindi, one of Krishna's queens in Dwarka. And it was this part of the Jamuna, that Jamuna which goes into the sea, who was the wife of the sun god, that Baladev engaged in this way. He would never act in such a manner with Vishaka, Krishna's dearly beloved. So, in this way, these pastimes went on, and this is the memory and the beautiful uh, mood that we're trying to conjure up when we go to Ranga. Today we have the opportunity and pleasure to make the dust of that most holy place and to make the blessings and mercies of Baladev and all the wretched babies there. I'll take the first report. So we, on the way to Mount Gaur, we passed through Kerala. So there, Sri Krishna with his coward boyfriends and Radhika with her sakis would enjoy many types of playful pastimes. Kelna means to play, so Kela Bhan. So one time, uh, we know that Chitila, the mother-in-law of Radhika, and Kutila, the sister-in-law, are always giving so many different types of torches to Srimadhi Radhika. There, in order to rectify this, one time Sri Krishna manifested himself as becoming very sick. That time many types of doctors came and many types of medicines were delivered, but Krishna was not alleviated from his sickness. That time Sri Yogamaya Devi came and said, If anyone can bathe Krishna in water that has been brought from the Una in a pot with 1,000 holes, then Krishna can be cured. So, Kutila, uh, Jutila, she's always very proud. I'm the most chaste woman in Vrindavan. Radhika is very unchaste. Then she came with her pot of a thousand holes. She filled it up and gave herself Abhishek because all the water came out from every hole. Then she was so much embarrassed because this is proof that she is not so much chaste. This is a very embarrassing thing. Therefore, she, without saying anything to anyone, she ran away secretly. Then Jatila, she came up for her time, and also Kutila. So Jatila came first, Kutila came second, then she took her part with a thousand holes, and also the same thing. There was, she was very much embarrassed, and she returned. Then no one else was willing to become publicly blasphemed in such a way. Then Yoga Maya said, I, I think Radhika, she should try. There was the Radhika, she prayed, if I if I have only ever thought of one man in my whole life, may my chastity be protected. The Radhika took her part with a thousand holes, but not even one drop fell from that. Yogamai took that water from the head of Radhika and bathed Krishna in that. He immediately stood up and was cured. Then everyone was gossiping. Yes, Jatila and Gatila are very unchaste, but Radhika really, she is the topmost chaste woman in grudge. Go Premanandi!
इसलिए उस जमुना को खींचा जो समुद्र के तरफ में जाती है समुद्र जीव के प्रति इसलिए इसमें कोई दोष नहीं Also, we heard about Sri Baladev's Rastila. Here in his commentary, Sri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur explains that Krishna had a separate group of gopis, and Balaram also had a separate group of go group of gopis. Here, a doubt may come that how can Balaram catch hold of Yamuna, who is otherwise Vishaka, who is Krishna's dear most sakhi? Then the answer is given that the portion of the Yamuna which flows towards the ocean is known as Kalindi, and she is the wife of the ocean. So it is that portion of the Yamuna named Kalindi which Balaram dragged towards himself. So, under the guidance of Srila Gurudev, Vaishnavas and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we went, we went to Viharva. So, Viharva is the place of uh, Radha Krishna's pastimes and also the place of uh, Sri Krishna's standing cows. So, as we know that <coughs> Sri Krishna used to take many, many cows there. So, Sri Krishna, he early morning is to go for tending uh, cows. And that time, Mother Ashoda hmm, is to follow him. And despite being uh, returned so many times on the pretext of, uh, <clears throat> she used to follow Krishna. And Krishna used to tell her, please go back. And she would say, no, 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 your peacock feather is not right. She still said it right. Then, after walking a few steps, she will again come behind him. Then she will say that, let me chant some mantras to protect you in the forest. Then, uh, then again Krishna will walk a little bit ahead. Then she will tell Krishna that, listen, that she will tell Subal, Shridhar, that Subal should walk on, walk on his left hand side, Shridhar should walk on his right hand side, Baladevi should walk in the <coughs> walk in the front, and he should protect Krishna, make sure that uh, uh, nothing will happen to him, guard him completely. Then she will tell Krishna, then again Krishna will walk a little ahead, and again she will stop Krishna and say, Krishna Vishwi tell Krishna, if you see some uh, forest animals, then what you should do, you should remember Narayan, he is our family deity. And Krishna doesn't want to smile. So he is pressing his lower lip and upper lip and he is hiding his smile. So Yashoda is completely covered by the Madhurja. Then finally Krishna tells her, Mother, you have to go back now because you have to send the lunch for forest and then we have to take this lunch and, and we have to and then we have to send lunch for us, you have to prepare the lunch. So it's yeah my vow. If you don't return now, you are under my vow. So he will give his whole oath to Yashoda and then Yashoda will come back. But anyways, all the movies they will be standing on high race mountain just watching Krishna going. And all day long Krishna will tend cows there. The Sakas will play, they will have lunch there. And um, there Krishna will expand as many Sakas are there and he will honor their, uh, uh, the prasad he has brought from home. He will feed what he has brought from the home, he will put in their mouth. And then Sakas will also feed him uh, what they have brought from their own home. Then Krishna will expand and all, every Sakha will massage the feet of Krishna. Krishna will take as many forms as the Sakhas. So this is the place of Sakhiras also. They will climb on different trees, imitating the frogs, imitating the movements of uh, birds, imitating the movement of swans. Uh, and, uh, so great, uh, and also night time also Krishna's Ras will take place there. Evening time he will uh, come back from the forest. Sayam Gramartha Manakula Sarvikal Avara Sanketa Nava Nyagari Vrinda Cheta Vatara Siddha Mantra Shani Saubhat Vimpa Samanita Pradhatma Malikudha Kheer Gopala Mote Sananda Krishna Vrinda Vrinda Vrasa Shreda Yogeda Nava He will play the flute. This flute song will attract the cows. He will call them Pishangi, Manikastani, Pradashangi, Pingyakshani, Mardhanamukhi, Dhumale, Shavali, Hansi, Vamshukriye 
इति सर्वतोलम आवय हि मुहुदेवरेना हि जे बलि विदरकतम आवय धरति हंत चित्तम भरि ओपी लेट्स सी दैट कृष्णा इज प्लेइंग अ फ्लूट एंड कॉलिंग एवरी सिंगल काउ बाय द रेन एंड हियरिंग द नेम ऑफ द काउस ओपी कैन फील गुड डीप इन द हार्ट and then krishna is returning from the evening when he is returning from the evening time his face is covered by the dust and he is little tired shanto ke rang mein aap dekhiye gopas tri nayan so with the shreyas of keshava although he is tired but he looks very very attractive then also in the night time there will be last line of vihar one gopis uh, will be dancing with sri krishna he is like uh, this is the place very decorated by krishna's sweet pastimes madhuri pastimes Vatsala pastimes, uh, Sakta pastimes. So therefore, this Vrindavan actually is decorated by Krishna's fruit song. Mukunda Murali Rav Shravan Sutta Rav Bandavi Tadam Maga Tadam Pita Pati Tadam Maga Tujjandara Kalinda Giri Nandini Kamala Kandala Dori Nath. So this beautiful Vrindavan Dham, this Viharvan is also part of the Khelonva. As we know that Shrimati Radhika, after Krishna went from Vrindavan to Mathura, Shrimati Radhika, Went to Khelamma, and in Khelamma she jumped in the water of Jamuna. When she jumped in the water of Jamuna, actually the Vishaka Devi took her to the sun god's planet. There she was lamenting in separation of Krishna. When she was lamenting in separation of Krishna, the wife of sun god actually told um, uh, that Vishaka that take her to see the four arm form of Narayan, and maybe she will be pacified. And then Vishaka told, no, 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 she is not attracted to any form, four arm form. Uh, she is only attracted to the two arm form of Krishna. She told that Gopina Pashupendra Nandana Jisho Bhavasya Kastam Kruti Vidnyanam Shavadya Duruha Madhavim Sancharina Prakriya Avishnupati Vaishnupati Tanam Tasmin Bhuja Jishnubi Yasa Bhanta Chatur Vidar Kuchim Rapa Dev Kuchiti The Gopis are not attracted to the four arm form. If they see the four arm form, the love in their heart actually becomes condensed, contracted. Their love is only, uh, they are only attracted to Krishna who has Form. Radhika says that, that the boy who has no peacock feather on the head, one who has, his face is not decorated by the minerals from the Govardhan, who has no um, flute in his arm, and even if he may be the king of the whole world, I have nothing to do with that person. So we offer pranam to this Pihar, we offer pranam to Gurudev, but at his guidance, we will be able to watch out of the innovation. Following him, he came, 
And as they went bathing, he collected all their clothes and then climbed the Katama tree that we have no religiously circumambulated today. And he disposed the different clothes of the gopis on the different branches. And then, as they were returning from their bath, suddenly they saw that where our clothes gone? And they heard a very familiar you know, sound, Krishna's laughter, and his beautiful voice saying, Oh, my dear gopis, no, if you want your clothes, you have to come back and get them. And they engaged in a very extravagant uh, dialogue. Gopis telling, but you are a very religious person. You are, the, you are famous as the son of Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda Rani, very religious person. You know it's not proper for you to act like that. And Krishna said, oh, but who tells me that these clothes are belonging to you? So many people come to base, so many ladies, why should be your clothes? No, you should come one by one and get your clothes that we give to you. I said, no, 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 you don't have to do that. You go away, you go away, we'll come and get, we'll find our clothes. Krishna says, but maybe some gopi will steal the clothes of another gopi and I will be responsible for this theft, what will happen to me? And in this way, they have this extravagant exchange between themselves. And Krishna, it is said in the Shiva Tarvatam, he treated them just like dolls, completely, completely manipulated them. But because they were so full of love for him, actually, although he was making some extravagant demand to them, no, they were no, smiling and shyly looking at him and actually they were enjoying the whole thing. Finally Krishna told them, no, now you have to come out and get your clothes. And then they said, well I think we will stay in the water for one more month to make the, 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 the another bow. They were trying to escape in so many ways to come out and naked in front of him. So Krishna says, no problem, I think being inspired by your austerities, I will also spend one month here doing austerities with you, you in the water and me in the tree. So finally when now, gopis could see that there was no way out, they started to push each other, you go first, no, no, you go first, you go first. But no one of them dared to come out. Finally they came out and then they were all in one line. I said, no, no, not like that, you have to go in one line like this, one after another. And they were hiding with their hair, with their hands, or with their shyness. And then Krishna was saying, this is not proper. No. You have taken baths, no, what kind of hair is, hair do is that? You have to tie your hair very nicely. And then you have to come out, one by one, you have to get your clothes. And still there was so much hesitation, they were still making so many obstacles, so many, you know, proposing Krishna, but this, but that, Krishna was just, he wouldn't let go. So finally they, you know, they agreed to his order, and one by one they came out. Krishna even let them you know, offer obeisance with both hands above their heads, but they would be no shyness left. Because he said, you have committed offense to Varuna there by basing naked, this is not proper, you have to offer obeisances. They were trying to offer obeisances with one hand, covering their private parts with another hand, and no, no, not like that, you have to do both hands above your head. Finally, they agreed to that. Then Krishna one by one gave them their clothes. So one of the teaching here, is that if we want to come in front of Krishna, we must give up every, every, every single attachment. We must depend fully upon Krishna and do whatever he wants, and there shouldn't be anything between him and us. Now, you may have heard many times, Srimad uh, Radha Maharaj, when he tells the story of uh, Draupadi. When Draupadi was calling for Krishna, first she was calling with one hand, but holding her sandal with the other hand. Krishna didn't come. So finally she raised both hands with her teeth, she was holding her side. Krishna was not impressed. So finally when she raised both hands and completely dependent upon him, then he came. So in a similar way, you know, Krishna is teaching that to come to me, you have to be completely, completely you know, surrendered and there should be no attachment whatsoever left. Otherwise you cannot come to me.
तुम लोग कहाँ ढूंढोगे मैं थोड़ा जा करके अपने मुंह से पेड़ करूंगा बच कहा जाएंगे कोई तो चिंता नहीं मैं एक देखता हूँ जय कृष्ण गए हाथ में उनका था दोधी का बहुत यानी दोधी और चाल मिला हुआ और न और दोनों आंगुलियों के बीच में टेटी के आचार और अरो का आचार भरा हुआ था जय कृष्ण गए ढूंढने के लिए इतने में ब्रह्मा जी आकर भी चुरा करके में छिपा दिया कृष्ण आए स्वयं भगवान होते हुए भी कृष्ण के एक ही साथ उनका सर्वभक्तता भी है और मुग्धता भी है तो चुम्बा के प्रभाव से मुग्ध हो गए सखा कहा है बचरे कहा है हाथ के जो दो कबल का धरा के धरा रह गया छा नहीं पा रहे हैं चिंता कर रहे क्या करूं? मैं इसे छोप से छोड़ के कैसे जाऊं एक ही बच में लौटूंगा रोजवास में क्या कहेंगे अरे कान्हा मेरी बेटा कहाँ है अरे बचरे कहाँ है इसे चिंता करने लगे जब बहुत चिंतित हो गए तो जो मैं अभी उनको यह दिला दिया कि आप सर्वज्ञ भी हैं शक्ति के द्वारा जान लिया कि ये किसके करतूत है तो कृष्ण अपने आप जितने सखा थे सखा बन गए जितने बछड़े थे बछड़े बन गए बन करके ब्रज से प्रतिदिन आते हैं जाते हैं गोचरण के लिए जिनकी जैसी बोली जिनकी जैसे स्वभाव ऐसे हो गए और जैसे बढ़ते जिस तिड़क से आए थे उसे चले जाते कोई समझ नहीं सके इधर श्री गुरु जी ने बताया ब्रह्मोहन लीला के संदर्भ में एक तो ब्रह्मा जी को एक सब को छिपा करके जुमुना के खातिर में रख दिया दूसरे और एक सेब जो है जो कृष्ण खुद प्रकट किया है वो तो कृष्ण गोचरण कर रहे हैं और जो मैं ने और एक सेब प्रकट किया जो दूसरे प्रकट जो दूसरे प्रकाश में गोचरण चल रहा है किसी को समझ में नहीं आया तीन सेब को प्रकट किया अब कृष्ण प्रतिदिन जा रहे हैं तो ब्रह्मा जी क्या किया लोग छिपा करके गए ब्रह्मा लोग में और इतने में से कृष्ण क्या किया ब्रह्मा जी के पूछने के पहले ही खुद ब्रह्मा बन करके ब्रह्मा लोग में चले गए सत्य लोग में और नौकरों का आदेश दिया देखो मुझे पता चला वो ये ढोंगी आ रहा है मेरा रूप बना करके उनको अंदर आने मत देना या कृष्ण स्वयं नाटक करेंगे कौन सोच सक, समझ सकते हैं जी ब्रह्मा जी आए अंदर जा रहे हैं जैसे आप अपने कमरे में जाएंगे अब नौकर में क्या पूछने जरूरत है ब्रह्मा वेद रथ जा रहे हैं सरकार जो नौकर थे दंड डाला दिया अरे तुम कौन हो कहाँ से आए हो कहाँ जाना चाहते हो तो ब्रह्मा जी ने बताया उन लोगों को नाम लेकर के अरे मैं तुम्हारा प्रभु हूँ आहो तुम हम लोग का नाम नहीं जान लिया एक पैर बढ़ोगे तो तुम्हें चकना चूर कर दूंगा तुम्हारा धड़ पर सिद्ध नहीं रहेगा क्या सोचते हो ब्रह्मा जी ने बताया अरे तुम लोग क्या पागल हो गए हो नौकर नहीं नहीं हम पागल नहीं हैं तुम ढोंगी हो पागल हो हमारे प्रभु के अंदर बैठे हुए हैं हमारे प्रभु ने हम लोगों को बता दिया तो एक ढोंगी आ रहा है चार सिर बना करके आगे बढ़ोगे तो कोई खैर नहीं क्या बात है ब्रह्मा जी उल्टे पैर लौट आए आ करके ध्यान लगा ये सब भगवान कृष्ण है तब तो उनको बहुत घबराहट हुआ फिर मौत धाम में लौट आए ब्रज में किस समान प्रकाश में लौट आए इतने में मनुष्य मान में एक साल बीत गया आकर के प्रणाम किया उठ करके देखा जितने सखा जितने बछड़े उनके लकुटी कपड़े सब चतुर्भुज हो गए तो दिखाना चाहते हैं ब्रह्मा जी को देखो कि मैं ही तुम्हारा मंदिर में नहीं हूँ हमारे जो सखा है बछड़े हैं और उनके कपड़े हैं सब सच्चिदानंद हुआ है सब तुम्हारा आराध्य है वो कृष्ण रूप क्यों नहीं दिखाया क्योंकि ब्रह्मा जी का आराध्य है गर्भोधक साई कृष्ण चतुर्भुज धारी इसलिए उनको दिखा दिया अब क्या करूँ फिर देखे तो वही है फिर देखा को चरण भी हो रहा है हो सकता है कि मैं जब इधर देखता हूँ तो उनको कृष्ण लाख में उच्चारण करते हैं जब तो उधर देखता हूँ तो उधर जाकर छिपा देते हैं चार सिर होने के नाते दो सिर से जमुना की ओर देखा दो सिर से इधर देखा एक ही समय दोनों को देखा तो बोला नहीं संभलवान है अब क्या करें 
ऐसे तो नहीं कहो प्रार्थना करने लगी क्या प्रार्थना करे नौ मिठ थे या प्रभु से ही तोड़ी दामवर आया बंजाब तन सफरी पिच्छल लसन उठाया बन्न सजे का बबेत विसार बेनु लक्ष्मसी मृदु पदे उस पंद जाया पर नौ मिठ थे या प्रभु से पहले प्रणाम कर रहे हैं क्यों ब्रह्मा जी के मन में डर अगर प्रणाम ना करो तो इसमें बिगड़ सकते हैं इसलिए पहले प्रणाम किया कृष्ण का रूप वर्णन कर रहे हैं श्रीमद भागवत में कृष्ण के तीन प्रकार का रूप वर्णन है एक हमारे आदि गुरु संप्रदाय प्रवर्तक चतुर्थ ब्रह्मा के द्वारा दूसरे ब्राह्मण पुत्र के द्वारा कृष्ण एक तपोष्ठ है ब्रज को प्रियो के द्वारा इसके बाद कृष्ण कह रहे हैं सॉरी ना ब्रह्मा जी कह रहे हैं अथा पित देव प्रधान मुझे उदय प्रसाद ले साधु प्रीत ए वही जाना जी तत्व भगवान महिनो न चांद में को भी चिरंग भी चिन्ना में जो कहते हैं कि मैं भगवान की महिमा जानता हूँ उनकी खिला जानता हूँ कुन जानता हूँ कहने दीजिए क्योंकि ये मेरे जानने का संभव नहीं है कौन जान सकते हैं जिसको भगवान कुछ विवाह करते हैं जब एक ऐसे निर्णय देना लगभग तस्सरी साथ माँ बेबुरुं के करुं सम जिनको भगवान कृपा करके हिदाय में आविर्भूत हो सकते जाना लेते हैं वही जान सकते और कोई नहीं फिर बता रहे हैं हे भगवान मुझे कुछ इस जगह कुछ बना दीजिए ब्रिंदावन तो संभव नहीं है तो मुझे गोकुल में कुछ मेरा जन्म हो जाए तो दस तुम्हें नाम का सबूत भागो भवे
श्रद्धा कैसे होती है साधुओं के संग से अथवा कृष्ण संबंधी कोई लीला भूमि गंगा जमुना इत्यादि पर जो सुकृति होती है उनकी भूत होने पर श्रद्धा होती है या साधु संग में श्रद्धा होती है और साधु संग का स्तर बतला रहे हैं श्रद्धा उत्पन्न होने पर गुरु का चरणाश्रय ग्रहण करना होता है और फिर चरणाश्रय करके भजन परिपाटी और सदाचार सीखना पड़ता है श्री जीव गोस्वामी ने भी श्लोक की व्याख्या ही जुटा से सर्वप्रथम साधु संघ में भक्ति शास्त्रों के श्रवण के द्वारा श्रद्धा होती है साधु शास्त्र के वचन में सुदृढ़ विश्वास होना ये श्रद्धा है इसके बाद में भजन कर्तव्य है समझ करके अब गुरु चरण गुरु जी के चरणों का पदाश्रय करता है ये भजन करने के लिए गुरु की जरूरत है और यह उनसे चरणाश्रय करके विश्वभेन गुरु सेवा उनके निकट भजन पाठी की शिक्षा करता है और विषम हमारे विश्वास अथवा लौकिक शब्द बंधु सेवा तात्पर्य है कि साधु शास्त्र और गुरु पदाश्रय के भक्ति दाराजा प्रवेश द्वार पर जब भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर ने कहा है हरिनामर नौका खानी श्री गुरु कंडर श्रीमद भागवत में भी बता है बिना गुरु के चरणाश्रय किए हुए भाव सागर को पार नहीं किया जा सकता इसलिए श्रीमद भागवत ने बताया तस्मा गुरु प्रबंधे जिज्ञासु से उत्तम जो परम कल्याण अपना जानना चाहते हैं जो कल्याण कैसे होगा उसे गुरुदेव की शरण लेना चाहिए गुरुदेव कैसे हो जो शब्द ब्रह्म अर्थात श्रुति शास्त्र में पारदर्शी विद्वान समस्त शास्त्रों का ज्ञान विशेष करके समस्त शास्त्रों का शास्त्र श्रीमद भागवत का पूरा ज्ञान हो इसके कि वो शिष्यों को समझा सके उनको कोई संदेह हो तो दूर कर सके और साथ ही परम ब्रह्म ने परिनिष्ठित तत्व ज्ञान दी उनका चित्त शांत हो और व्यवहार में प्रपंच के प्रति प्रवीण विषयों से प्रयाग तात्पर्य है महत कृपा से जो सिद्धि प्राप्त श्रद्धा प्राप्त कर सदगुरु का प्रकार का चढ़ाशय करते हैं गुरु में ये निम्न लिखित लक्षण है गुरु जो वेद और वेद के तात्पर्य क्या कर श्रीमद भागवत आदि शास्त्र में पारदर्शी हो जो शिष्य के समस्त संदेह को दूर कर सके जिन्होंने दुख विश्वास और निष्ठा के साथ में भगवान का भजन किया है और उसके फलस्वरूप भगवान की अनुभूति कुछ कुछ आई है जिन्होंने भगवान की कृपा प्राप्त कर भगवान का अनुभव कुछ किया तथा शिष्य के हृदय में भी शक्ति संचार कर सके और जो काम क्रोध लोभ इत्यादि को छोड़ चुके हैं उसके परिपूर्त नहीं हुए और विश्व से चिंता करें ऐसा गुरु का पदाश्रय करने से तब भक्ति का स्तर बढ़ेगा और प्रेम प्राप्ति होगी अन्यथा प्रेम प्राप्ति नहीं होगी श्री रूप गोस्वामी ने 
दीक्षा के संबंध में कहा गुरु प्रदाशन तस्मा कृष्ण दीक्षा शिक्षण विषम बहन गुरु सेवा गुरु प्रदाशन और कृष्ण मंत्र में दीक्षा ग्रहण कर भागवत धर्म का और वैष्णव आचार की शिक्षा श्रद्धाचार और विश्वास पूर्वक गुरु की सेवा इन अंगों में गुरु पदाश्रय संपन्न होता है दीक्षा मंत्र ग्रहण से पूर्व शिष्य उनके साथ में रहकर कुछ दिन तक उनकी सेवा करें और उनका चरित्र देखें कि कोई चरित्र में कोई अनाचार है या नहीं ये तत्वदर्शी है कि नहीं है पूर्ण विश्वास हो जाए तो उसे वो दीक्षा ग्रहण करते और शिष्य गुरु भी देखता है कि ये सदाचार संपन्न और शिष्य होने लायक नहीं है या है या भक्ति का तिक्त तो कुछ दूसरे की अभिलाषा करता है तब उसे दीक्षा नहीं देते इसी को गुरु प्रसक्ति कहते हैं गुरु और शिष्य परस्पर स्वभाव और लक्षण आदि की परीक्षा करके देखेंगे कि ये गुरु है कि नहीं ये शिष्य है दीक्षा कार्य भक्त करे आत्म समर्पण श्री कार्य कृष्ण कार्य करे आत्म समर्पण सही देह करे तारचिदानंदमय अप्राकृत देह तारचरण दीक्षा ग्रहण के पश्चात गुरु उसको भजन की रीति भागवत धर्म और वैष्णव सदाचार इत्यादि की शिक्षा देते हैं तत्पश्चात गुरु की सेवा करते हैं गुरु सेवा किसको कहते हैं इतना चक्रवर्ती ठाकुर जी कार्य है जिस प्रकार से पति प्रता स्त्री पति के सवाल में भग्न होकर के पुत्री इत्यादि की किसी की याद नहीं रखती पति के सवाल में अत्यंत निमग्न हो जाती है उसी प्रकार से गुरु सेवा के द्वारा सब प्रकार के साथियों की सिद्धि गुरु सेवा निष्ठ शिष्य यदि है तो श्रवण कीर्तन इत्यादि यदि नहीं करेगी छूट भी जाए तो भी गुरु सेवा के से गुरु की कृपा से वो सब शास्त्र का तत्व समझ करके भजन प्राप्ति में शामिल हो जाए कोई यदि गुरु की सेवा कर रहा है पढ़ा लिखा भी नहीं है कुछ भी नहीं है और श्रवण कीर्तन भी नहीं करता दिन रात गुरु की सेवा में लगा रहता है समय नहीं उसको है तो समस्त शास्त्रों के जितने तात्पर्य उसके हृदय में प्रकटित हो जाते हैं और वो भक्ति में प्रविष्ट हो जाते हैं आचार्य शंकर के बहुत से बड़े बड़े विद्वान शिष्य थे और उनके कपड़े धोने वाला रसोई बनाने वाला खिलाने वाला ये सेवन था वो निरंत पढ़ा लिखा नहीं एक दिन शंकराचार्य के कपड़े लेकर के गंगा के बद्री नारायण में गंगा के उस पर में अधिरथ के उस पर में कपड़े उनके धोने के लिए गया और उसको सुखाते बहुत देर हो गई इतने में उनके और पद्मपाद और जितने भी शिष्य थे हस्तामूलक और पद्मपाद और सब बहुत से उन लोगों ने कहा कि आप पाठ आरम्भ कीजिए वेदांत उन्होंने कुछ नहीं कहा अरे वो वो शिष्य के लिए अपेक्षा कर रहे हैं वो मूर्ख तो कुछ जानता नहीं है आप आरम्भ कीजिए क्योंकि उन्होंने आरम्भ नहीं किया इतने में वो दौड़ता हुआ आया और आ करके ऐसा सुंदर काव्य और कठिन भाषा में संस्कृत भाषा में गुरु जी का स्तव करने लगा ये देख करके आश्चर्यचकित हो गए ये ये कैसे ये सब कहते हैं ऐसे ही जस से देवे परा भक्ति जस से देवे परा भक्ति तथा देवे तथा लोग तस्ता है क्या 
जो गुरु की ऐसी सेवा करता है जैसे पार्षद देव कृष्ण ने तो शास्त्र उसके हृदय में हरे कृष्णा काल एकादशी है काल वृंदावन की परिक्रमा है जो लोग परिणाम के लिए आग्रह किया है लोग प्रवचन के बाद जी प्रभु के पास में नाम लिखा दें काल सुबह साढ़े नौ बजे है नाम दीक्षा होगी करके Tomorrow there's a communication workshop from two o'clock to four o'clock. Upstairs, where everyone takes the prasadam with Ananta Ananta Prabhu. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Sir Sri Madhuri Kadambini by Sri Krishna Chakravarti Thakur. So we are discussing how Shraddha is awoken by Sadhu Sangha, but how do we achieve Sadhu Sangha? By accumulation of pious activities related to bhakti, bhakti and mukshikriti, by performing activities such as taking bath in the Ganga, visiting different theatres. By this, we collect sakriti, and when that sakriti is very thick, then we can achieve the association of the sadhus. <laughs> 